Hi, Duncan from Sewing Direct. We are here with the new Baby Lock Primo and we're just going to do a video on how to thread it. Let's get started. So we're going to start off with some threading and we're going to go with the loopers to start off with. Then we'll run through the needles and then we'll go through the new wiper feature. So with all of the baby locks, because they invented the air thread system, the loopers are threaded in the same traditional way as all the other baby locks. Um, to do that, we have to get into threading mode. So we pull the flaps open and pull the lever down and we rotate the hand wheel towards us until we hear it click into place, just like so. We are now ready to engage your threading system. So we're gonna start off with the chain looper on the side here. We're gonna go up through there. Then we go, put the, feel, um, the hand and foot lift down to keep it out of the way. And we're just gonna simply go around here, up through the top, and then through this bit here. Now, once we've gone through that to ensure we're in the tensions properly, just give it a little floss backwards and forwards and that'll make sure it's set in the tensions correctly. We're going to go then all the way to here. Now, the easiest way to make sure we have enough thread pulled through is double the end over. So hold the end just here, pull to the end of the cover, and that's going to give us enough thread to pull through the whole system. And all we need to do is just tuck the end down a little bit, press the button, and it has just come out just here. So now we're going to move on to the needles. Now it's important that we keep the bar across, the threading across, so that we can instigate our needle threader when it's time to. Um, we're going to start with the purple. Should have had this prepped in there. Now the same principle with all of the other baby locks, you've got a double spring system at the top. That's designed to pull any twists and tangles out as we go. The important part is if you ever need to unthread it again, try not to pull it through because as you can see it's not coming out. So a little top tip, double the thread over, pull it in and then pull it out like so and it untangles really easily and we're not going to break anything. So dead simple with the threading, follow it down, come all the way along and we're just going to go under, make sure we go underneath the wipers here. We'll explain that in a second. And we're going to go for number three. So we're going to tuck it under there. So to engage number three needle, push that across to there. That's then going to move the needle threader, which is on the side, into the three position. Pull it down and hold it in place. And then all we're then going to do is tuck it under there, making sure it's into the groove, and then lift through. That's the needle threaded. Put it out of the way, then we're going to move on to the green. The same principle. Move now on to C2. Pull it down into place. Push it through to the groove. And through again. I have to lift my foot up. Oops. I'm going to do the C1 needle. Um, same principle as the other two. Down into the side. Underneath there. Oops. Down there. And we've just moved this C to C1 just here. So if I put that down, drop that there, and you can get in a bit closer, you can see there's a little groove there. So all we're going to do with these threads is make sure we tuck them under there. I don't know if you can see that very well. Yeah, perfect. Once they're in, the hook will grab hold of the eye itself and the needle and the thread and pull it through. Hi, I'm John. So now, so these ones, uh, do we have to have the... Yep. So now we're going to thread the wipers, which is the new feature from Baby Lock, um, which are these ones just on the top here. Um, principle of them, very similar to the needles and everything else, so we don't really need to reinvent the wheel. Put it through the clips down the side. We're going to go for the right one first. 
and we're going to go across up and you've got a wiper guard here that's there that keeps out of the way and we're going to go through the nose of the foot and then we're then going to go through the little hole just there And then we're just going to tuck it around the back. Oh, left foot on first. Tuck it around the back. So now we're just going to do the left wiper, um, following the same principles as before. Through that bit. Uh, a little bit around there. Through this bit just there. Through the nose. And then through the wiper. And there we have it. Now we're ready to rock. The important part is moving all the threads to the one side, so keep them over to the left. And then when we do start sewing, just make sure we keep hold of them as we're going, because uh, then no loose ends will get pulled through. Just remember to disengage your threading system. So we've gone from threading up to sewing. That will enable us now to close all of our doors. If we get to a point where you can't close this one, it's simply because the threading is not up to surging. So there we go. And then, get the fabric up, put the foot down. So one of the great features, or a few of the great features about the Prima is you've got a magnetic pin holder just here across the top. You've also got a speed function to slow your machine down and you've also got a needle up down function. Which is great, fantastic. Nice. So another great feature about the Primo is if you don't want the wipers in action, all you need to do is get hold of the lever here, just pull that down. That will then lock these little wipers into place so you can just do a standard cover stitch stitch and no need to unthread it fun dabby dozy